Hi, welcome to Healthy by Choice. This is Jessica Kellaway. I am posting this blog to basically, you know, answer some questions from some people that have posted some questions on the website and on Facebook and Twitter. First question was, what are bad fats? Saturated and trans fats are the two that are the fats that you really need to look out, you know, look out for. Um, saturated fat comes mostly from animal and animal based products such as you know like meat and butter and milk and cheese trans fat um, about 20 to 25 percent of that comes from animals and 75 to 80 percent of that comes from partially hydrogenated fats um, that's found in like pastries and um, you know a lot of packaged foods processed foods um, Right now, there is a law that says that all packaged foods that have trans fatty acids in them need to let you know about it. So it will be on the nutrition label. Um, my other question was, should I eliminate trans fats from my diet? Um, well, there are small amounts of trans fat in animal and animal products. So unless you're going completely vegan, then no. Um, if you're going on a 2,000 calorie diet a day, about 20 calories should be from trans fatty acids, which is an actual very, very, very small amount. Uh, so no, I mean, like, there's a lot of trans fat, like at McDonald's and fast food restaurants, if you're looking at it that way, then yes, quit eating out at fast food restaurants, make food at home, um, you know, use the proper cooking oils, such as olive oil or coconut oil. My next question was, I am trying to lose weight and I haven't even started yet. Um, what should I change in my diet right now to start off? All right, well, the first thing would be to start drinking 72 ounces of water a day, which is nine cups of water. If you're still thirsty, you know, go ahead and drink a little bit more, but if your thirst is really really bad and you're still drinking a lot of water make sure you talk to your doctor I would start a light exercise routine um, nothing too drastic to start off you know just like walking or a slight jog um, stop eating packaged foods stop going out to eat at restaurants and at you know fast food places um, no you know grill your foods don't fry them um, switch out you know instead of candy have an apple or, you know, th find healthier snack items such as, you know, popcorn, not the kind that's in a movie theater, that kind is not good for you. Popcorn that is air popped, that doesn't have any butter and salt all over it, that's really good for you. Um, you know, stick to eating more vegetables and more fruits. Um, if you're going to have meat, make sure you grill it or bake it. Um, don't fry meat at all, if at all possible. Um, you can also, uh, you know, try doing one of the cleansing diets, which I had the seven-day diet posted on the blog before. If you want to kind of start that out, that's good, too. Um, and make sure you're eating at least three meals a day and then the two um, snacks a day. You need to eat breakfast. That's what gets your metabolism jump-started. You know, even if you eat egg whites, you know, go ahead and hard-boil some eggs, throw the yolk out, and just eat the egg whites. That's a great way to get your metabolism going. Um, my next question is, I've heard about stearic acid, what is that used in? Well, stearic acid is basically a saturated fat that is used um, to help things, you know, harden, which is often used for margarines and butters. Um, not something you necessarily need to worry about. Um, if anybody else has any more questions, go ahead and submit them to Twitter or on the blog. Um, hope everybody has a healthy week.